Welcome to our fifth Mathematica tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll take a look at how we can program Cramer's rule, and how we can program the Gauss elimination method. Before we get started with either method, let's get familiar with the do loop. The syntax for the do loop is do expression i, i min, and i max. Where we evaluate the expression with respect to the variable i, where i goes from i min to i max. So a quick example of this would be, let's say we want to print the numbers from 1 to 10. Then we can do print n, where n goes from 1 to 10. Shift enter, and there's all our values. Another useful function is the insert function. The insert function syntax is insert list element and n where the element is inserted at the nth position of the list so an example for this let's say we have matrix a that's just a 1 by 5 matrix We can use the insert function and insert a number into any position that's in A. So let's say in A, I want to insert the number 10 in position 3. Shift enter. And you can see that now we have 10 in position 3 and everything else is moved back. Now here I can put it anywhere in the matrix, even at the end of the matrix. So let's try putting 10 in position 6, which doesn't exist yet. Shift enter, and now it's at the very end of the list. One thing we can't do is put it an extra spot over the end of the list. So say we try to put it in position 7. We cannot because there's nothing to fill position 6. Now these two functions will be very useful for us in programming Cramer's rule and Gauss elimination. In the next part of the tutorial, we'll apply these along with other functions to program Cramer's rule.